What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Stream Elements tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a sub train. This is only going to be available on Twitch to my knowledge, but if it's available to the other platforms, then you can definitely utilize it as well. But as you can see here on the screen, it just shows you how many people have subscribed in the train, how much time is left for the sub train, and the most recent person who has subscribed. So let's go ahead and jump into the Stream Elements editor, and I'll show you how to set it up. All right, so inside the Stream Elements Editor, what you're going to do is go down to the plus, we're going to go to Labels, down to Other, and you're going to see Train Count. So it's going to come up on the very top left corner, but we're going to bring that down a little bit so you can see it. And on the left-hand side is going to be your settings for it. So you can set the time duration for the train for however long or however low you want it to be in terms of minutes. The default is 5. You can also have different types of trains. So you can have a subscriber train, follower train, or tip train. Now I'm gonna leave it on subscriber train, but if you are not streaming on Twitch, try to see if this option is even available for you. If not, then you just won't be able to use this, unfortunately. Now, once you have the train type that you wanna use, you can then select if you wanna have it to show the latest username, user count, show the timer. You can have it go vertical if you want to, and you can also show the icons for it too. Now, once you have that, you can go down to the text settings, and this is where you can make it a little bit bigger. You can change the text, like the font and stuff like that, very self-explanatory in this area. Now, once you have that set up, go ahead and click on save, and we're gonna emulate it. So I'm gonna mute the emulator here, and what we're gonna wanna do is emulate a subscription, so you can kinda see how it looks. So I'm gonna go to emulate, subscriber event, I'm gonna click on one. So now you can see that it's got one for, you know, one subscription that came through, the timer has been initiated, and it shows who actually is the person who subscribed. Now you can also do that with a gift. You can also do that with a community gift. So it's going to show who gifted subs to the community and stuff like that. It's going to then increase that. And what I want you to also pay attention to is every time you get a new subscriber, the number for the timer will go back to whatever you had it set for. So right now it's showing like 440s, right? If I click on one, it's gonna pause and then it's gonna reset. It's also gonna increase that there too. So to bring this into your Streamlabs OBS or your OBS Studio, what we're gonna do is click on save and we're gonna go over here to the little tiny icon here. It looks kind of like a link chain and we're gonna click on it and it's gonna copy the URL. So now we're going to go back into Streamlabs, and I already have a browser source here, but I'm going to start a brand new one. So we're going to click on plus, browser source, add source. If you don't have already one made, then you can go ahead and give it a name. If you do have one already there, then go ahead and click on add new source instead. So that way you can give it a new name. Go ahead and click on add source, and we're just going to do control V as in Victor to be able to paste it in. and then. Once it's there, you'll have that showing up. Now, you're probably gonna see that inside of the editor, this one's already got some information here, but it doesn't show it here, right? So what you need to do is re-emulate it. So if we go here and we click on one of those, it's gonna change it there, and then we're gonna have it here. I'm not sure why it doesn't show the exact preview that's inside of the editor when you were kind of messing with it, as you sh as I showed. But once you go ahead and emulate it again, it will then populate it for you. You can always click on these little sides to make it bigger, or you can go into the actual editor itself, and you can then increase the size here by going into the actual text settings here. And just click on the little up arrow to make it a little bit bigger, click on save, and then go back, and it's gonna be a little bit bigger for you. You can still adjust it after you make those adjustments there too. But yeah, that's pretty much how you set up the sub train or whatever type of train you chose for your stream. It's very easy to set up as you guys were able to tell. But if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more tech videos like this. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Take care.